Okay, sorry about that. Had to call somebody so I can get a charger for my phone. I mean, my camera, so I can do this with a fucking camera instead of a fucking phone. No offense. Fire is actually spreading a bit, or at least gotten up higher to the roof. Speaking of which, my head is getting hot. <laughs> my roof is getting hot too. Sun's quite hot today. Ooh, we have the military there now. Ooh. They'll keep the peace. Yeah, where were they to prevent this thing from happening in the first place, huh? It's a closed building, by the way. No one's supposed to be inside. There's a sale right next to it, right next to where the fire was started. Um, you know, how, how could such a thing happen? Jesus. You know, the only people that actually do work in this fucking town are the fucking fire department. And the Zofi map, well, it used to be a Zofi map, they clean people to clean the beach. Now they're gotten fucking lazy corrupt too. But, you know, the only people that do work are firemen, and, and, and they're corrupt too, because they work with the people like this to, to, to help set, uh, you know, intentional fires and make it look like an accident, you know. But documented here first, this is very, very suspicious looking fire with three ignition points or three holes in the roof billowing black smoke on two sides and white smoke in the middle. Very, very suspicious. Uh, too big of a fire to be started by anything other than uh, um, accelerant. So, has all the looks of intentionally set and given the uh, evidence uh, right there on the left of screen. Uh, oops. Oh, yeah. Right there. That just posted about three months ago that they're going to start selling that property off. You know, looks like the owner wants to finally cash out, and looks like he found a way. So, Hotel Los, Hotel Los Arcos, under under uh, investigation by you for uh, insurance fraud for this fire that we're witnessing here. Yeah, I think I got a really good view of it. Bingo D in the background. Anyway, you can uh, go to my website if you want to, uh, if you can, if you don't have an Apple product, because Apple censors my website. It's www.disperser.info. Um, I'm an American refugee. I've been down here in Mexico since 2014 trying to apply for refuge and being told I can't because an American named Malcolm Neal Schwerer Schoen has more power in this fucking state than uh, the federal government, even. So, President uh, Max Schroyer and his son Daniel Schroyer. Uh, have said I can't uh, I can't uh, have refuge here and uh, what they say goes and uh, they said I couldn't be a uh, Commodore of Club Cruceros because I'm not a Jew so you tell me um, I'm not saying anything other than that's what they told me you can't be Commodore of Club Cruceros because you're not a Jew that's what they said I wished I had that on camera but this is their town, and they don't want me here. So you tell me what it's about. I'm an actual genius. What are they? Corrupt. What does that mean? Connected. What does that mean? They don't have to earn anything on their own merits. They just cheat. What am I? A genius. Somebody who doesn't have to earn, do things by cheating. I get this way because I'm smart, because I'm capable, because I can do things myself. They have to cheat, so they hate me. They have to burn their own fucking buildings down instead of paying their employees properly. Being so fucking stubborn as to close your business so you don't have to pay your employees properly for ten fucking years. They would rather not make money than to make less than they think they should. Seriously. Well, I'm just not going to run the hotel. I'll pay money into to, to keeping it unoperating, but I won't make any profit from it because I want to make more profit than they will let me make. So I just won't do it, you know, Jesus fucking Christ. That's corruption, folks, that's what corruption is. Corruption is stupidity. Corruption is you're so stupid that you can only get along and, and, and compete in the world by being, by being corrupt, by working with other people that are corrupt. It's the bullies have won, people. The bullies own this world. It's their world. And you let them have it. 
because you didn't believe people like me. So here we are, watching Hotel Los Arcos of La Paz finally burn because the owners finally had it and decided to do insurance fraud because he got approval and because he was tired of waiting for me to not be here anymore and decided to just fuck it and take his chances. Well, guess what? Hi. So, more corruption, more evidence of it, and it's all Americans. You know, every business that makes significant profit and doesn't pay taxes in here, with very few exceptions, Cantamar and the Aguilar Boatyard, Boatyards being noted exceptions that I'm aware of, Telcel and other Mexican-owned corporations are the only exceptions to that rule. Everyone else, independent business owners, the only way you're making it here is if you're a foreigner and if you're a friend of Max Schroyer's. I'm a genius. I could I could outcompete anybody in any of these businesses if I wanted to. But they won't let me because, well, I could outcompete them in any business that I wanted to. So they don't want me here because I do things right. They don't have they I don't have to cheat. So I'm not part of their game, so they don't want me here. So you're watching Hotel Los Arcos be burned. You're probably gonna be watching my hope my boat be burned next. Ooh, there was someone inside. Uh oh. Who got murdered and dressed up as a bum? Was it your cousin, your missing cousin for 20 years? Was it that dissident? Was it that guy that was supposedly in jail and, well, really wasn't? He was, he escaped and fled to this hotel and set himself on fire. Who was it? Who's, who's been killed? Now we know this is a murder. It's like they murdered my care, my uh, vigilante, my uh, property caregiver, caretaker, caretaker. Thank you, my caretaker, Adam Pichilinge, Rafael. I'm gonna back the ambulance in so you can't see the body. You gotta wait till it's charred enough. Not recognizable. <laughs> and this is a presidential thing because the presidential uh, uh, police um, I'm sorry, the National Guard um, has oof, has escorted the uh, ambulance there so you know what's going on there let's, uh, let's give you a close up on that let's let you see that there you go yeah, there's the National Guard, AMLO's bodyguards dutifully protecting his crimes Son of a bitch. You got these people fooled, not me, motherfucker. Quite a scene here. Looks like they finally got the water to it. Sign of corruption, someone in a white shirt and dark pants. <laughs> in the United States, it's someone in a dark suit. Here, it's a white, white long sleeve shirt. <laughs> in this case, it's one of the municipal police officers. Sorry, I moved and I focused too so much. Or no, actually, I was focused on the ambulance. Oh, yeah, I need to. 
All right, they're putting someone on board. So that's the murder victim they're putting on board there. They'll say it was some bomb that set the place on fire, but you know. So this is how uh, corruption and serious crimes happen, folks. You know, this isn't what it looks like. This isn't a, a building on fire. This is a murder and an insurance scandal all in one. It's one of two possible, one of two possibilities here. Either they put some bum up to doing this and got him killed in the process, or more likely someone did this and you know put someone in there like a bum or someone else, you know, a murder, you know, someone they wanted to get rid of to uh, you know top the put the cherry on the uh, on the uh, cake, so to speak, for the uh, for the insurance fraud. But you know, I'm just speculating based on, you know, reality. You have to speculate that it's more likely this is murder and, and insurance fraud than just a fire and a bum setting himself on fire, you know. There's much, much better places to go live, like under that pier right there where those two people are. There's people that sleep under there, made themselves a little bed out of rock, a little covered area so no one can see them out of rocks. Why would they sleep in that hotel? Hmm? Why so many National Guard? Why are the National Guard escorting the ambulance? I guarantee you call Malcolm or Neil Schroeder's office and the phone's busy. Owns a marina, blocks away. What does he have to do with a fire in a hotel that's abandoned? Hmm. Check his phone records. Nobody will because this is true corruption. It goes all the way up. This is the corruption. I guess it's still going pretty strong there in the center. Another water truck coming, they're out of water. This is the fourth truck water truck coming and it looks like uh, either another one behind it or uh, more crew. No, another ambulance. Mm. Looks like somebody got a lot of di getting rid of done today. This one's not escorted by the uh, National Guard this time. It also looks like a private one. It's probably a smoke inhalation job. Nope, it's the uh, Bomberos, it's there. It's there, so you know. It's anything but private. That would be a homeless person. Then. The other person's a murder victim because their ambulance was escorted by the fucking National Guard. It could be just a coincidence, right? Yeah, it could be. I, I, I acknowledge that. It could be just a coincidence, but it's more likely corruption. You have to acknowledge that.
No, they're sure not very good firemen. I'm getting tired. I'm done. You guys can watch someone else shoot footage of this damn thing, or I'll come back and do it later if it gets worse. <laughs>